Hello fellow crafters, Lori here from the Crafty Connection. And today is day three of four of our ornament center pieces or shelf display pieces. Again, you'll have to excuse my voice and my nasals. I am still carrying this cold around. It's getting better, but obviously it's still hanging around. And um, for today's project, we're making a Christmas carousel. Um, it's kind of an idea I have in my head, and it's going to be a show-as-I-go kind of build because it's my first time doing this. Um, and I'm going to show you a few of the items that we're going to be using, and then we will start putting it together. Um, I'm using a round box. I got this box from Hobby Lobby. It came in a three-pack. There's one that's... Um, larger than this one and then one that's smaller than this one and this particular box is ten and a half inches in diameter and it is about six and a half inches tall and so this is the size I'm using you can obviously use any size you have Dollar Tree carries um, boxes, cardboard boxes, but I'm not sure of the sizes, and I couldn't find a round one at my Dollar Tree, but I'm sure some do, and or Michaels, or Hobby Lobby, and um, sorry about the Bark Bombers again, but I have four, so I do like to make themselves known. So I'm going to use the box, and then I have... Um, a piece of styrofoam which is 11.9 inches in diameter and one inch thick I got this one from Hobby Lobby also it says $4.99 everything was 60% uh, off in this um, stuff so I got that pretty cheap if you don't have a round one you could always cut a, key, a piece of cardboard and double them up. Um, choice is yours, what you use. This is just what I'm using. I'm going to be using hot glue, but I'm going to be using the Gorilla um, hot glue sticks because this stuff bonds incredible to, what does it say on here? Wood, metal, glass, plastic, floral, fabric, leather, foam, and more. Um, and I have used these on the first two uh, ornament DIYs I did, and it's held up. It holds up beautifully. Um, it's very strong. So this is what I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to be using some skewers, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use the larger ones here or the smaller ones yet. Both of these I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just not exactly sure yet what size I'm going to use. You will know as we go. My little mat. Um, I'm going to be using... Let me get my bag of goodies here. Um, another piece of foam. And you don't have to use foam. It's what I'm going to use to keep my skewers nice straight and secure i'm going to be cutting it down this came from i believe dollar tree just a piece of white foam and i'm going to use some lights i want this one to light up i have some bunch of lights oh here we go so i have a couple different options i'm not sure what i'm going to use these are a 10-pack from the Dollar Tree. I have a 18 uh, lights, and it's either from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And, and then I also got some that I got off Amazon. So I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, but you have options. And then so I have some of this mesh. From the Dollar Tree. This is a white mesh. Not sure if I'm going to use it or not, but um, the reason I brought it out is just to show you. I'm using these ring or these 
they're hard. They're nice and sturdy little colanders or um, cylinders, and they come from inside of these um, deco mesh packs. And I do have. All right, so I'm not real sure what happened. My video cut off, but anyway, so these um, cylinders that I was telling you about are what comes in the middle of these deco mesh things. And they're, like I said, they're super hard, so they're real sturdy. I have a bigger one, too. I'm not sure exactly what was on this one, but um, I saved them just for builds. So, like, you can either use a bigger one or two smaller ones and connect them. Whatever works for you. And then, I don't remember what I had already showed you, so um, I have lights. I think I already showed these to you. Um, just different options you can use for lights. Fairy lights is what I'm using. And um, I have my little miter tool to cut my um, skewers. You don't have to have one of these. I have one, so I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to be using some reindeers instead of horses since it's a Christmas carousel and I have some of these I got from the Dollar Tree um, and then some that are a little bit smaller they come in a two pack from the Dollar Tree not sure which ones I'm going to use and then I also got some of these sleighs that I'm going to put in the carousel um, but we'll see as we go And I have some of these. These are... Okay, and again, my camera cut off. I don't know what's going on with it. But the last thing I was going to show you are these wall adhesive stickers. Um, they're just big snowflakes. And I'm going to put these on the base of the carousel and then paint over them because I think it's going to give it a really nice... Um, like a carved in um, decorative part at the bottom which you which you see on a lot of carousels so, all right so to start the build i'm gonna go ahead and grab my box oh i have masking tape too but if you've watched any of my other videos you know i always build with masking tape all right so for this no. project I'm going to take the lid off the box, but don't get rid of it because we're going to use it. And then I'm going to flip it back over. And I'm going to measure some because I want to put my um, piece right in the middle. My, uh, my uh, cylinder. So I'm going to grab a ruler. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it from one side. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to do it again here. Stop it. And then I'm all right, so once again, it turned off again. I went and deleted a bunch of things, so hopefully that'll keep it going again. So let's start again with this, because I figured out the right way to do it. You want to take your ruler and go across your, um, your piece, and mine is just a hair bit over 10. So I'm going to mark my middle at 5. I'm going to make a little mark here. And then I'm going to do the same thing going this way. And then I know to make my line on those lines. So I'm just going to cross. Ignore all the other lines. And then where these two meet, 
which is right here. That's my middle. It does look, sometimes they don't really look like the middle because of all the, just the way our eyes look. But anyway, that's the middle. I already kind of checked this to see if this is going to be too tall or not. Um, I'm putting my craft piece on the top. That's my lid. And it, though it looks like it's going to be way too big, once you take one of your pieces that you're using, and you actually need to hold it up some because of the skewers, just like on a merry-go-round. So I'm going to leave mine like it is. And this was the big, the, the larger of the cylinders. Now, if you're using two smaller cylinders here, it's just as easy to put glue these together, run some tape around the middle, and then you have the same thing um, to put in. Now, if you don't have any of these that are nice and hard, you can use a paper towel uh, piece or toilet paper pieces and my suggestion to get them sturdy for that is to um, if they're toilet paper holders glue them together at the middle and if they're paper towel you have one like this stuff in some plastic bags like Walmart bags or <coughs> excuse me grocery store bags whatever and stuff them in here really tight and then once you have them all stuffed tape masking tape around the whole thing top and bottom and that'll make you have a nice secure piece so there's a tip for if you don't have any of these hard ones so what I want to do next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my sharpie so I can know what lines are accurate here All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead first and cut some of this base down because it does not need to be this tall. So what I did is I measured three inches from the bottom with the top, not the open side. I measured that down three inches all the way around. And I'm just going to take a utility knife and cut down this box. It might be easier to do with scissors. Let me let you know in just a moment. Just cutting it down to that line. Actually cutting like a triangle down just so I can get a start. scissors will be a little easier so I'm just gonna take some doll scissors not my good ones obviously and I'm just gonna cut all around my box just staying on that line the best I can every once in a while I'm gonna come and down and take some of that off just makes it easier to cut
go. I think that'll be a much better platform size. And then I want to make a point of um, don't just take it and cut and assume you're cutting it straight because it you never will. Trust me, I've done it. So just make sure when you're measuring it, I measured it about every six inches, made a mark, and then connected the marks, and that's how I got a, an even cut. And then just to make sure it's a good cut, I'm going to take the bottom and put it back on. If it's great, turn it over, and it fits. Alright, and that's a much better size. So now what I'm going to do is take my cylinder, and I know this is the middle, because we already measured it, so I'm going to kind of set it there, kind of eyeball it just to make sure I have it in there. Then I'm going to take the Sharpie, and I'm going to just make a, a circle there. And that's the circle I know I need to cut out. But before I cut it out, what I want to do is I know I have four reindeers and I have two sleighs to put on my piece. So I want to take and... No, I know I have six um, parts. And how I'm going to do that is this is my pie and I'm going to cut it into six pieces. So if I go this way and this way, that's going to give me four. And then if I did it that way, it would give me, it just give me too many. So I need to start by making my first line, which is going to be in the middle. Like so. So now I have two halves. And out of these two halves, I need to make three. So I need to do each side in thirds. So for thirds of this, I'm going to take my ruler. No, I'm about at 10. So th thirds is going to be 3.33. So I have 3. Point about right there. And then I have 1, 2, 3. About right here. So I know these are my thirds. And then what I want to do is I'm going to think that's what I'm going to do. But I want to start them from in the middle. So let me, let me figure this out because I'm not the greatest at math. And then I'll come back and show you exactly how I did it. Alright, so I figured that out. Um, what I did was I took, um, I took a main line across and then each piece of pie has to be five inches. So I just took my ruler and I measured from, let me find the easier way, end to end. And I made marks at uh, five inches. They're not perfect but it spaces it how I need it spaced, or close enough anyway. And then I took my cylinder and I re-put it in the middle to make sure I had it perfectly. <laughs> Funny, not perfectly, but more centered and just went back around. So what I need to do next is get the middle piece here cut out. And what I'm gonna do for that is Start it with the utility knife, I think. And I'm just going to kind of score a piece open. This is a um, paper mache box. But they are a little strong. And then I'm going to take my doll scissors and just kind of dig in here the best I can. <laughs> and cut it to the end of my, there. Kind of get it to that piece, end of my circle. 
and this doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so I'm just gonna cut me a starting point. And then you can clean it up when you get it cut out. I'm just gonna, it's okay if it's not perfect, but just try to stay within the, the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not gonna see it. So I'm just gonna kinda cut it and then show you what I have here. to get a perfect cut here, but it really doesn't matter. So you're just gonna pull it out as best you can. Take your colander and try to work it in that hole like so. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it fits. It's not too big. It has a nice snug fit. And then what you're going to do with, after you have that is take your styrofoam. And you need to make sure the piece is bigger than your colander. So I'm going to get my Sharpie and just probably go from here. Probably just cut it all the way across like that. And I'm just taking a butter knife and Nowhere near perfect. It's not going to be. And then I'll just take my little butter knife and kind of chisel it down. So Like I said, nowhere near perfect. Doesn't have to be. Okay. Then, clean up my mess here. Alright. So what your goal for this is, is we're going to have this in here kind of um, adhere to the top of this and then you want to make sure you're needs a little bit too much for that piece so let me grab a sharper knife I'm going to take off about half an inch there. So I just took a little, little bit neater there than the butter knife. And 
then now uh, we'll split this down here and I know that it's got plenty of room. All right, so then we're gonna take our cylinder and we're gonna put it in the styrofoam and I'm gonna make a note of the styrofoam. This styrofoam is <clears throat> more of the harder styrofoam than the green soft floral foam. It, it does um, work better for for this type of uh, an application. And we're just gonna kinda press it in there, twist it, whatever, till you get a little indent like so. And then, We're gonna take our piece. And what we wanna do here is put some glue. And I am using that Gorilla Hot Glue. And we wanna put a ring of it in the, those little grooves we just made with the cylinder. And then press that down in there like so. And then I just like to add a, an extra bit around there. We'll call that insurance glue. And I'm just gonna take it around the edge so we can fill in any more, any of the gaps. And then that's gonna get it nice and secure. All right, I'm gonna let that set up for just a minute. All right, and then while it's setting up, the way we're gonna uh, put this on will be over the top. Once we get it in there, and we'll slide it down and glue it. But before we do that, we wanna add our skewers for our reindeer pieces. So how we're going to do that is I'm just going to kind of set this here. I think I'm going to end up using these. Let me pull the other one out too to see which one I like better. It's always good to check to see what you're going to actually use because once it's down with this glue, it's down. I'm going to go ahead and take the tags off of these sleighs. Not sure if I want to, if I'm going to use those. Um, in fact, I know I'm not, so I'm going to just pluck them off. I will put embellishments on, but it won't be those. Plus, I want mine to go this way. So I have the sleigh and the reindeer. And the reindeer. So I think I want to use the bigger of them. But I just wanted to be sure before I did anything. and make sure it all fits. It's probably a good thing to do before we move on. It's a good thing to double check these things before you go on. So we have our two sleighs and then the reindeer and the other reindeer, which these might be too big. One up, one down. 
Nope, I think they'll be perfect. Okay. So now that we know they all fit well, we'll set those to the side. And got a mess here. Decide if we're using the small or the large skewers. I'm gonna say the smaller of them. Alright, so we have the sleigh on one. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and just write an S through these two here so I know those are my sleighs. Don't need holes for those. And then my two reindeer. I'm going to paint these reindeer also. I'm not leaving them brown or glittery. And I need to put a skewer through them. And I'm going to try to burn a hole with the glue gun. Don't know if I'm going to succeed. Oh, I did succeed. Would you look at that? All right. So I just took my glue gun tip and burn a hole on the top and they have my skewer and he's actually popping right through the bottom which is a little far back than I wanted him to be let me see if I can do it closer I didn't want it to pull back that far, so I'm going to try again and burn the hole in the front, which it works just fine. I can cover that with some spackle. Okay. No Go through really nice. As you can see, I just burnt the top little hole with my glue gun. And then stuck it through. Then what I want to do is decide exactly where I want my reindeers. So I have, if I put this one here and that one there. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play around with the setting of these, but you saw how I put this in and I'm gonna do this with all of four of the reindeers. And then once I get them placed how I want them, I will come back and show you how I'm going to secure them into here. All right, so what I did is I took my reindeers and put them on the skewers. So I took them all and I set them around seeing where I wanted them to be. So I have like one here, one here. Anyway, I set them all around and I put my little sleds on. So anyway, they were, I figured out where I wanted them all to be. And then I made little marks with the skewers on the um, box lid or the base. So I had all four on here. Um, late, you know, I put them all out and made holes, stuck them all in, and make sure they were centered how I wanted them. And then I took some more of that styrofoam we had that we used for the base here of our um, cylinder and I just cut blocks they're nowhere near even at all and then I took in where the holes are at for the horse um, things one of these has 
tape over them. No, they don't. Lovely. Anyway. So I don't remember what's what, so I'm going to put a bow. Anyway, so I made the holes. And then I'm putting the styrofoam and gluing them over the holes that I made for the skewers. And I'm just gluing them down. Again, using that Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna go like this, I think. Pretty sure that, ex that hole was a mistake. And if it wasn't, I'll just glue another piece of styrofoam there. So I have my styrofoam pieces glued on. And that's just going to give it extra stability when I put the reindeer skewers in. I will tell you, I am going to end up using the bigger skewers for the reindeers because they're not tall enough with the smaller skewers. But I'm going to leave them on the smaller skewers for now. So I'm going to paint them. That way they can dry easier. So I'm going to set this to the side. And get my paint ready. And come back and I will show you how I'm going to paint those. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so the color I'm going to paint the reindeers in is a khaki color. It's, um, it's called khaki from Apple Barrel. And I'm going to leave them on these skewers to paint them. But I'm going to pull it down like so. So I can get them all painted. Just using one of these Dollar Tree foam brushes. And I'm just going to kind of dab it in there. I'm going to rub it and dab it. Because... By using the dabbing, I'm going to get better coverage and hopefully only have to do this in one coat. But I am not a fan of the dark brown glitter on this reindeer. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. I'm not sure... On the antlers yet if I'm gonna leave them like that or change them I will let you know as I go but I like using these little sponge dabbers because you can get in there and get the um, little areas that are hard to get I don't know if these pull out or not they do nice just going to pull off the little antlers for now so I can get his head painted. I will be adding some eyes, either with beads or black paint or something. I don't know yet. We'll get to that part later. And I'm probably going to make little um, wreaths for at least two of these reindeers. Like I said, this is a Christmas carousel, so we want it to look Christmassy. And the colors I'm going to use, I think, are going to be silver and pink for the most part on this carousel because I, the ornaments go on the top of the carousel. And there'll be a few down on the middle, but that's where the ornaments come into to this DIY. Instead of having like the tent top looking thing, like a like a fair or a carnival carousel would look, I am using the ornaments. But that's closer to the end. So I'm just gonna continue painting my reindeers this color and paint them all and then I'll just be sticking them in uh, some foam a piece of hard foam to let them dry 
So I'm gonna get them all painted and then once they are all dry, I will come back and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so here we go. I want to kind of show you where I'm at. I did get a bit ahead of myself. Um, I painted the base with the white um, Craftsmart acrylic paint. And the stickers, if you remember, that I showed you, let me grab them. These, which are the wall adhesive stickers. I did put down on the sides here. And I did have to glue them because they didn't want to stay. And I put them all the way around. And then I just put a coat of the white paint over them. They're going to need a second coat. And if you don't have these kind of stickers, any sticker that is puffed up to where it has, you know, these indents on here will work. I just like these snowflakes and that's what I found to use. So that's that piece. I did start and put one coat of pink paint on the two sleds. I am still working on those. I'll need two or three more coats. And the reindeers, I painted them. If you remember, they were a dark brown glitter. So I painted them khaki. I painted the little hooves on with some dark brown paint. Added an eye. Put a little pink in the ear. Painted these um, antler things they have silver. And glued them back in. And then I just added a piece of fake fur for the tail. Which you could just paint it white if you don't have fake fur. So that is where I'm at. Oh, and I painted the large skewers silver. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put another coat of the white paint on this one and get these finished painted. Um, I'm going to finish with the pink and then I'm going to do the rails here or the blades of the sleigh in silver. So let me get all that painted. I'll come back and then we can start assembling. Alright, so I have a slight change of plans on my design. So I have my bottom here that I did go ahead and dry brush in the pink and then instead of using this on the bottom it's going to be on the top and I will show you why when I get there but that gives me a chance to show you what I did here on these with the stickers on the bottom making sure my glue guns getting hot all right so I'm going to end up using these small ones up here that's probably the only ones that are going to fit. So what I did is I took, just took a sticker and I added hot glue to them. Not a ton, but enough to get a good stick. And then I just hold them on there for a minute. And I have, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have eight of the size sticker that will fit. So what I'm going to do here is try to line them up so I make sure they're all spaced out pretty evenly. Got some glue hanging out there. So I want to get another one. and add some glue and try to go around about the same directly across on the other side and then hold it down for a minute so I have one here and I have one here so now I'm going to do this side and the side so let me get one Approximately eyeball try to get them centered up there and then 
we put to just put it right here. We'll put the other one directly across. And then I have four more, so I'll put two in between here and then two here. And this is the exact same way that I did them on the bottom. I just used the bigger ones. So now we have them all going around here. <coughs> Excuse me. So now what I'm going to do is paint this in the white char uh, white acrylic paint I have that I did the bottom on. And I'll be painting directly over these. And you, you'll be able to see the... Let me just show you one real fast. So I just paint right over them. Trying to get into all the little grooves. And this does take normally two coats. But I do try to get over them. And then once you dry brush it, you'll it's even more profound. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this lid. Top, bottom, sides, everywhere. And I will be back. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the styrofoam uh, round piece that I had. And this one's going in the lid up here. So what I did is I had laid this down and I traced it around a little bit out from the lid because I didn't want to get any Sharpie on my white paint. So you can see the line I had made there. And then what I did is I went around and I made little um, like slices right here. And then I'm going around and I'm cutting right inside of the, about the half an inch inside of that line I made. And it doesn't have to be a perfect fit in the lid, but you want it to be pretty close because this is what's going to... I'm just breaking those off. This is what's gonna house our skewers and our um, middle piece, the cylinder. And then I just cut them off like that. All right. And then I'm gonna check it as soon as I get some of that off. It's still a little bit too big. So all I'm gonna do is just kinda go around here and shave some of it off.
I'm just doing a little bit at a time so I can see where and that actually fits nicely now. Plus this will give our top of our box some more um, security also. So let me get some of this foam cleaned up here real quick. You guys haven't noticed I'm not the the neatest crafter but that's okay because everything cleans up in the end all right so now what I'm gonna do is pop this piece back out so I can glue it in you know, I'm gonna try to pop it back out No, it may be in there. Let me see if I can get a butter knife and pop it out. I would feel better to have it glued in the bottom. But it's not coming out. So, doubt it's going to go anywhere. Alright, so what I need to do before I paint or do anything else is line... Actually, no. Let me go ahead and do the dry brushing on this piece here, which is going to just be around the edge here. We can do that real fast, and then we can start to build... Let me get some of the pink paint. So I'm just taking a chip brush here I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to dip it in some of the pink paint. And then dab most of that off. Can't really see what I'm doing. On some paper towel. And then I just take it. I don't know if you can see real well. And I just run it around the... And so this adds color to the, the piece as well as highlights those stickers. So I will give you a close-up of that in just a moment. And if when you're doing this, if you get it, if you get a little heavy-handed, that is perfectly fine. Once this dries, you can always go back over it with some white. Like I got a little heavy-handed right there. So I can always go back around that with some white. And then what I like to do on my edges here is just kind of go around like so on the top and the bottom and just highlight those um, edges. Just gives it more, more of a pop, so to speak. In my opinion, anyway, you don't have to do it. Do this any way you want. This is my first time making one of these, so I am learning as I go, trying to share some of my mistakes or my tips and what I find works and doesn't work in making this um, carousel. All right. So we have that done. I'm going to let this dry for just a couple minutes. I'm going to get my paint brushes put up because I think we are done painting. And this only got one coat on the top and that's fine because this will have ornaments on it. 
All right, so let me get everything kind of cleaned up a little bit and come back and we'll start assembling. All right, so I have um, everything pretty much moved out of my way so we can start assembling. So we're going to start with the bottom. And we need to get the... Um, cylinder thing. I need to get it covered and um, so I guess I should do that first. Let me move these out of the way again. Now I have a piece of scrap of paper that I think I'm going to use if it's going to be big enough, which yes it is. Um, and I just got this from Hobby Lobby. It's just some pink stripes. And you could paint this if you wanted to. You don't have to uh, use paper. So to... Actually, I think I'm going to put this in first because I don't want to rip my paper. And we also have our lights that we have to get put in here. So let me get these un untwisted. And I don't need them all the way untwisted, I don't think. Unless they're all twisted up like to where I have to. Let me see. Okay, I see they have them wrapped around here. So I'm using the Amazon strand because it's got more lights on it. And I think it would just be easier. But you can use any length you want. And you can always um, add a, an extra strand if needed. Alright, so what I want to do here. There, we got it all unwound. Alright, so our battery pack is going to go in the bottom here. And... I'm going to glue it on, but we want to make sure that we have it to where you can turn the on and on, on and off switch on, and have the part where the screws are to change the battery shown. Alright, so I'm going to just take a little glue here and glue this onto the side of our box with the switch facing up. And I'm gonna flip them on too. I guess I should have checked them before I glued them in. So let's, all right, they work. Cool beans. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take the strand and put it through the hole. And then I'm going to take it to the edge right here where the plastic covers over the wire. And I'm going to get a glue stick. Again, use the Gorilla Glue high glue sticks. Alright, so I'm going to just put a dab of glue down and glue this plastic piece down as well as a few more spots Then once we have this piece through here, we can put our cylinder in. And then take it down. We just wanted our wire, our lights to be through there. 
which we have. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so once this is in place, then we want to pull it up. And I'm going to glue it on both sides. So I'm going to go underneath here. Get this so you can see what I'm doing. So we have the battery pack right here. And now I'm going to put glue around this styrofoam piece here. And that's just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Oh, we glued this down, I think. No, we didn't. Actually, I can't get in there. So I'm going to... I'll just glue it on this side up here. Up by the... Around this... Um, cylinder. So I'm just going to run the hot glue around it. And that way we don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Okay. Well, that sets up. I did grab another piece of styrofoam here and you don't have to use any particular size of styrofoam so looking underneath here we actually may not even need it and I'm gonna show you why I have a I had this little rotating device I got from Amazon. It was like, I think like $9 or 10, I'm not sure. Um, and it rotates. And it can take batteries or plug it in, but I don't have any batteries in front of me. So let me see if it's gonna work. Yeah, I don't think I even need the styrofoam. So let me turn it on. So it is now spinning, and let me set the, there it goes. So no, we don't even need the extra styrofoam. So how cool is that going to be? All right, so there we go. We know that works. We know we have it enough at the bottom to sit on the rotating piece. And you don't have to use a rotating piece. That's just something I wanted to use for mine. But it's absolutely not required. You can just sit on a table as is. Alright, so then we need to get our skewers done with our horses, I mean our reindeers. So I'm going to take these. I painted these silver. These were the long ones I had got from Dollar Tree over the summer. If you don't have the long ones, you can use two of the smaller ones and tape them together and then paint them. And I'm just cutting these in half. I don't even know if that's a perfect half. But it's close enough for me. And I'm just using my miter shears. You could use a, a utility knife would be just as easy to do. All right. Now, my question to myself is, are these going to be long enough? So let's check it out. So I need to get my center point on this in approximate. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to cross these on here just to give myself an idea. 
where my center is. And then I'm going to set it on top of my cylinder and kind of eyeball it. And that looks pretty good. And I'm going to press and get that indentation like I did at the bottom. All right. And then I'm going to have to kind of play with it a little bit to get it how I want it. So then I have my little indentation right here. So my cylinder is sitting a little crooked here. So what I need to do is get somehow, I need to get some glue up in here. much better. I'm just trying to make sure everything is straight before I move on. And I'm holding it under there to, for that glue to grab on. Alright, now I need to cover my uh, colander with the paper. <coughs> so I'm going to take it and I'm going to run a bead of glue from top to bottom. And then I'm going to lay the paper as close to the bottom as I can get it. And I'm just going to press that down into the glue. And then I'm going to come around here and get my lights out of the way first. And I'm going to take some more of the hot glue. And I'm going to run it a, a bead of it across the very edge of the paper. And that's just to give it a nice fit. And then I'm going to run more glue periodically down the, the um, the cylinder, kind of pulling it taut as I go. Just want to keep making it as tight as it's gonna as I can get it there, and then I'm gonna go and run that bead of glue right along the edge of this paper. Now at the top, you can see the paper is a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to push it in like that because it's going to go 
into that top piece there. All right, so what I want to do next is I want my lights to go around the colander through this piece because I want the lights to be in the bulbs or the ornaments as well as around this. So all I'm going to do there is take one of my, I'm going to take something from, maybe just a knife here. skewers and just kind of make a twist it around make a little hole and then I need to know where this is at the other side I'm gonna stick my scissors in here kind of feel where that is Take my sharpie and make a little dot there where I know that hole is. And then I'm just going to take the utility knife if I can find it. In my, there it is. going to take it through there and kind of twist it in a little bit so I'm making an X. You will not see this so I'm going to stick my scissors in there make sure the hole is going through which it is make it a little bigger okay now I'm gonna run my lights around the circle or the cylinder. And I'm gonna be adding a little hot glue as I go. And all I'm gonna do is take it in a, add a little dab of glue here. I will be putting ribbon around this also, so a lot of this will be covered, so you won't see any of the the glue or anything. And then I'm just going to wrap it around in a spiral motion. Oh, that glue is drying. Trying to keep the blue dabs all in the same area so I know where they're all at when I go to cover it with the ribbon. Now, if you were using the Dollar Tree lights that have the 10 lights only, you would have to figure out how to put your battery pack inside of your topper somehow. And I really need to get this topper out of and re-glue it in there. Alright, so once you get those on there, you can just kind of stuff those in there for a minute. Because next, we're going to have to put our reindeers on so let me gather up the reindeers the poles and the sleighs and 
I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I took some ribbon. I'm just using this um, glittery white ribbon. I got it from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure, but it was definitely on sale. And I'm taking pieces of that ribbon. I already measured it to fit over my reindeer. A little body like that. And then I'm taking the ends. I'm like folding them in half there. And I'm dev just dovetailing the ends. Make sure I have those even so they come out even. And I'm doing this on both sides. And then what I'm going to do is take the um, reindeer, I've already put the skewer in this one, and then I'm going to glue this ribbon across his back, trying to make sure I get it even. I want it to come down about right there. And then once I get that on there, I will put a little dab of glue on each side. So it looks like this. And then I also have some silver ribbon, which I think I'll put across here too, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the rest of these skewers in to the reindeers. This is the one that has the double hole from where I made a mistake in the beginning. And I'm just taking the larger skewers and I'm just kind of working them in there. And then I'm hoping here that this ribbon, which it will cover his little hole I made, so the extra hole. And I'm just going to do the same thing. And now you don't even see that hole. getting the glue string so there's another one um, and I made I want to put little wreaths on the front of him but I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough of the uh, white florals I have so we'll come back to that part so I'm gonna finish up the reindeer or, uh, yeah the reindeers and then we'll come back and we'll put them on our base Okay, I did stick two of the reindeers in already, just because I wanted to get a visual. But before I go on, I need to get the ribbon put on the cylinder, colander, whatever, this, the middle. So I'm going to start with my piece of ribbon I'm using. And I'm going to glue it on to the bottom here. And I'm just gluing it right above the um, wire to the light. 
and then I'm going to just go around following that wire, but not going on the wire. So I'm just going to add a little glue dabs here and there. maneuver my ribbon through my reindeers here. working it up all the way to the top. But now on this one, like before I get to the very, very, very top, I just kind of want to get around these uh, right here. here. So when I get about to the top, I'm going to stop because we'll be putting this, the lid on, or the top piece. And I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry there. I'm not sure how far down it'll go. So I'm going to stop right there with that ribbon and I'm going to let it just hang out for a minute. And I'm going to come back around here. So I have my two reindeers on the bottom in place. Um, I'm going to stop with this and move it over here. Because I have my two sleighs that were painted pink. The inside, I just gave it one coat. I didn't give it two. Um, I have not painted down here. This will be silver. And I think I will do that right now actually so I'm going to go ahead and paint those silver because to be honest I forgot so I'm going to paint those now and come back in just a moment all right so I went ahead and painted the um, blades or whatever of the sleigh silver and now what I'm going to do is take greenery here, I have another one somewhere, and I'm going to fill in my sleighs with the white greenery. So I'm going to cut some of this stuff off. And I'm not sure, I may have to put a little foam in the bottom. To fill it in. Just to fill it in down there. Alright. 
So let me get some glue and glue this foam down. And I know technically the chairs on a carousel would be like maybe for parents or adults to sit in and and I know that these sleighs are supposed to be kind of resembling those but it's not a real carousel so we're going to make them pretty sleighs let me I have another one of these somewhere over there but I'll do one here on camera and I'll do the other one off. So my main goal here is to fill this up with the with the white uh, greenery, I guess is what we'll call it. And then I'm gonna have to search through my stash and find uh, some pink ornaments or embellishments or something to put in here with it. So I'm just going to put these down, glue them down. And I'm just randomly picking uh, pieces here. Because I don't want to lose the fact that it's a sleigh, but I do want it to be filled up nicely. So I am just going to randomly put in some pieces here. And my goal here is just to fill the um, sleigh up with this white, the white greenery. That makes no sense. Let's see. <coughs> this is messy, messy stuff. Sorry about the coffee, and I'm still trying to get rid of this cold on mine. It's getting better, but not gone yet. Hot. 
That would be my husband. He is dealing with the same cold as I am. Just want to get some of this paint off my fingers. I keep touching it and it wasn't dry. Just a couple of these little berries right there. I think that'll be good. And then what I'm going to do is just find a couple little small pink fillers to put in here. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one, but off camera. And then, once that paint is completely dry, I will come back and we'll finish assembling our carousel. Alright, so I went ahead and I put all four of the reindeers on um, in the pre-made holes that we had made earlier. Now I'm going to string my lights here through the little hole we made in this. And it's probably gonna be easier said than done. No, there they came, I can't believe it. All right, so we're just gonna pull the whole strand through. I'm gonna have to unravel the string though. Hopefully it's not all twisted up. It does not appear to be. Alright, so I'm gonna pull this through, all the way through. And I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm pulling the lights through that hole we made. And then once I get them through, I am going to position the, um, the lid. And my, I gotta cut my um, skewers down. Let me get my little cutter tool, and I want to cut them down to a little bit higher than the cylinder in the middle. And that web line. don't have to be perfectly even just close so they'll pop into that styrofoam piece we have here all right so if you remember we put the styrofoam in the top of the lid here so I'm going to attempt to get these in here even and I know you can't see what I'm doing Trying to line it up with the pull the light string pulled through. And I'm gonna keep pushing it down. Till I get the there. Till I get that little centerpiece we made put into the um, top. All right. 
so let me show you if I can here what we got going. So right here is the lights that we pulled through the hole right there. And then you can see up there those are all put into the styrofoam. Alright, so I'm just going to glue everything into place up there. And I'm probably going to have to turn this upside down to do that. So I'm going to start with the center piece. And I'm going to try to get the camera at an angle where you can see what I'm doing. So I have it upside down at the moment, and I have this centered on the middle of the styrofoam, and I'm going to run glue around the middle to secure that on. And I'm just running that all around the center column there. And then I'm also going to set it, set some, or go around the poles or the skewers, doing the exact same thing. And I'm going to show you that in just a moment. So what I've done is I don't want to move this too much because the glue is drying still. I put glue around the middle on the bottom and then I put glue around each one of these skewers at the bottom. And I'm going to let it sit here for just a couple minutes so it can get nice and glued in there. And then once it's dry, I'll flip it over, and then we can make adjustments to the reindeers. Just want to make sure it's dry enough that it's not going to... Um, drip. And while I'm down here, I'm going to finish putting the ribbon around the top here where we left it off because we were putting the top on. So I'm just going to add a little more glue to it as I go around it's just a few more places that it needs to go. And then I'll show you that too is when I flip it over to the right side again. Just 
cutting the extra ribbon off. And then I'm gonna glue down the end of it. I will probably end up painting the ceiling of this just because I don't like the way the styrofoam looks, but that's just preference. I'm still picking glue streaks. But I can pick those on my own time. So, right now I'm going to adjust my reindeer where I want them. there and there and then I'm gonna run some glue on the bottom poles just like I did at the top to make sure they are secure and they're not going anywhere I'm going to set on the top here for a minute because these are going to be intertwined with the ornaments at the top. So, so far, this is, in my opinion, looking really nice. It's getting the glue strings. All right, so here we go. So far, I am going to put some of that um, Dollar Tree fake snow down here on the bottom. And I do want to paint the top um, so what I'm gonna do I think is once I'm gonna let all this glue dry and then I'm gonna flip it over again and paint the styrofoam top because I won't be able to do that once I put the ornaments up here and then we'll get the fake snow put on the bottom and the ornaments and then it'll be done so let me let this dry and I'll paint the styrofoam and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have the top painted uh, pink and then I added some of these little foam um, deluxe filler balls around the top just to kind of clean it up and make it look cute. Alright, so the next step now is to flip it back over and then I'm going to Mod Podge the bottom here all around the, the whole bottom and put some of the um, Dollar Tree fake snow down so I will do that off camera or I'll start it on camera so you can see and then move off camera so I'm just gonna use any old Mod Podge I'm using some um, gloss Mod Podge for this one just because that's what's sitting here and it's not my favorite Mod Podge and I would like to just use it up. So I'm going to shake it up and open it. And grab a brush. And I'm going to just use one of these Dollar Tree foam brushes to put the Mod Podge down. And I do this in little sections. Um, like 
quarter pieces, I guess we'll call it. But I'm gonna do the inside of it first. So I'm gonna my podge around the inside by the cylinder all the way out to the poles or the skewers. I'm just doing one half at a time. And then I'm just going to get some out with my fingers. It's going to be a mess. And just kind of getting it out and putting it up there by the cylinder around where I have the Mod Podge. Spreading it out with my fingers as I go. So let me just show you what I'm doing here. So you can see where I've put the Mod Podge and I'm just putting the fake snow down and I'm going to do that all the way around and then I'll shake off the excess. Let me get that done and I'll be back. All right, so I have all the fake snow down with the Mod Podge and it's on there. It's not going to fall off. And then I did add some of the little foam balls to around the bottom, which just cleans up the bottom so you don't see any of the paper or anything. And, all right, so next I'm just going to pull my um, reindeers down where they go. I have a, I had them all up so I could put the um, fake snow down. So I'm just going to push one all the way down, which I know you can't see that, but I pushed him down. And then I'm just going to center the other one where I want him up a little bit. And then do the same thing. Oh, my lights are falling down. With the other ones. And then once I get these all how I want them, I'm going to put the sleighs on. Which are right here. I didn't find any um, pink glitter foam balls. I do have some small ornaments. I may put one in if I have enough left over. So I'm going to go ahead and position my sleighs where I want them. And glue those down. Again, using the Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm just going to put a bead on each side of the bottom of the blades on the sleigh. And set them down. And then you can adjust your reindeers around those. show it to you in just a moment. Let me let that glue set up how I want it and then show you what we have. Alright, let me get my lights out of the way so I can show you. And then all we have left to do is to do the top with the ornaments. Alright, so here's what we have. 
but you'll see it better at the end of it. I'm going to show it to you uh, rotating. All right, so we have that part done now, and I'm going to go ahead and get my ornaments all out and um, get ready to assemble the top. All right, guys, so we are almost done with this project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull my lights down the side. I'm using a piece of foam right here, and I may use two to give me the point that I'm looking for for the top of this carousel. And I'm just using a piece of foam that I had. doesn't have to be any particular kind or size or anything. This is just the ones I had in my stash. And I'm going to just glue that right down there in the middle. Make sure I'm in the middle. Okay. And grab another glue stick. I know you can't see what see me, but I'm standing right above this thing. Getting ready to assemble this. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and then I'll do part of it off camera. I'm not sure. I may end up putting another um, a second one, which I'm pretty sure I will. So let me just go ahead and put that on now. So again, sorry about my horse, vo horse voice throughout this video. But as I've stated, I've had a very nasty cold, which it's getting much better. It just, the remnants of trying to get my voice back to normal. All right, so I went ahead and glued both of these on. And like I said, you don't have to use this particular color or style of foam. It's just what I had. All right, so the next step now is to take the ornaments. I'm going to, I'm taking the little, if I can get it off, I'm going to. Taking off the little cat piece. And I'm going to start by gluing this one on the outside. Let me see if you can there kind of right right there on the inside or the outside part of the top of the carousel so add some of the gorilla hot glue and I'm gonna put them down at an angle Let me see if I can show you what I mean. So I just have him right here on the end at an angle. I don't want to overlap this edge here. I just want to go right along the edge. So I have the pink one there. Now I'm going to use a white glittery ball and just interact or interacting. Just kind of um, putting these down with the colors kind of intermixing, I guess, is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to do this with these all the way around. And then I'm going to build up to here. So I will go ahead and start putting these on. Come back when I get, get to the next layer so you can see how I'm doing it. All right, so I wanted to show you where I'm at. Um, I'm just gone around and I've done two layers so far. And then I'm taking the lights and I have glued like on the top of each one of these balls. And then now I'm going up to the second row and I'll do the same thing. So I'm just kind of weaving the lights around the balls as I put them in. 
and then once the light strand is all in, then we'll fill in the little gaps and holes with smaller ornaments and some of that glitter fill. So I'm going to finish this up and then come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, guys, here is the finished product. And it does rotate, although it's going backwards. Let me fix that. Hold on. I'll turn the lights off also. All right, there we go with it going the right way. All right, and let me turn the lights. And there it is with the lights on.